<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my let's play of Total War Rome 2. And um, so yes, yeah, last time we basically took control of all of um, West Africa. Uh, we wiped out the Numidians and now we are about to wipe out the uh, Gaetuli and at that point only... Oh no, wait, the Numidians are still alive over here, I forgot. <coughs> actually have a big stack over there but that uh, after that we will um, go after Lepidus I don't think he'll be um, that much of a challenge uh, in my Octavian campaign I just rolled over him in uh, both Spain and Africa although in Africa he only you know controlled Carthage and uh, Tingis the rest of Africa was uh, conquered by Egypt so um, it might actually be harder, because this time we don't have Egypt uh, invading them, or at least for now. But let's uh, start with this battle. Um, what are these? Garrison armies. Uh, so let's go for a night attack. And let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, good. They're still in the settlement. For a moment, I was really worried that it would be a field battle. Um, and that would be a total disaster. Because they have a lot of these skirmish cavalry. And, you know, they're still kind of a pain. But at least in the settlement, you can, uh, you know, surround them more easily. And of course, the slingers can also be a pain. But this battle, it's probably not going to take that long if I can prevent these guys from just running everywhere. Oh yeah, it's a night battle. Uh, no, let's not attack in the rain. Okay, let's attack in the rain. <laughs> I should have taken the fog. Oh well. Um... God, these battles are actually really dark. Um, so here is the square. I think I'll have a. I can barely see the border. Uh, I think I'll have a team over here. And a team over here should I make this the biggest one yeah why not there and one more team over here what do I do with the cavalry um, I think I might actually be able to use them to uh, attack here on the shore you know, flank them in this way. So let's let's do that. Let's keep the general over here. Well, no, let's keep him with the, the army. And what do I do with the Valites? I think I'll just have one units um, per team. I would prefer to have them all, you know, at the place where the elephants will attack, but it's going to be hard. Where are they going? Over here. So I don't need to send in my cavalry immediately. Where are the elephants? Okay, so I can't see those. So let's just move up with, uh, with the army. And let's just hope they won't all attack one front, that would suck. What are these? Javelin men. 
Um, I'll wait until these guys are disembarked. And then I'll send them in. Oh, there's movement over there. the shore now okay so they are dead basically let's have my guys charge into this unit those elephants that's the big question over here <laughs> it literally is the big question <laughs> okay sorry about that um, okay so these guys are dead and well they're not dead yet but you know they're routing Okay, they are shattered. See if I can shatter these guys as well. Because I don't want um, these guys coming back. Okay, there they go. I actually think the uh, validates were also the javelins were also good against elephants. Oh, and apparently my cavalry has bonus against large, and I assume these guys count as large. I do like the elephants. They look pretty cool. I'm also a big fan of uh, of monkeys actually. This morning I was uh, watching the um, the live series by I don't know the BBC. Not sure what it was, but um, they showed the uh, the capuchin monkeys and you know how they were getting their food. And they were, you know, eating uh, some kind of nut which uh, had a you know very tough peel. So they had to remove that and then they had to, you know, dry the nut for like a week in the sun. And after that they had to, um, well, smash it open with a rock. And then they showed like the, you know, the young animals trying that. And they use like rocks that are far too small. They just knock the nut on the, on the big rock that count, that, you know, that worked as the anvil basically. And it, uh, it was all such a disaster and then they, uh, one very young one, uh, he actually dropped the uh, the nut, it rolled off the big rock. And he finally got it back up and then he dropped his, uh, his you know, the smaller nut he was, or a uh, rock he was using to actually smash the nut. And apparently it, it takes them eight years to learn, uh, to basically learn how to properly smash a rock, or a, a nut. I really love monkeys. They're really smart. Okay, are the elephants coming this way? I don't know. Um, I guess I can charge my 
my infantry in and then that will basically happen. Oh, let's uh, let's first take out these guys. I can't even see the rain. Uh oh. Oh, they are archers. I should be able to defeat those at close range. Okay, and these guys should go there. Where are the elephants? Oh crap, there are the elephants. No, my velites are cut off. Okay, everyone converge on the elephants. Um. Okay, you guys just chase after them target those elephants uh, okay my velites are beating the crap out of those archers good the archers are gone let's attack the elephants i need these elephants dead or at least um panicking so they're destroying my uh, my guys Oh yes, the first javelins are being launched. I just hope that... Uh... Okay, that's one elephant down. Yeah, my guys are routing. Well, that's not... That's no surprise. Oh no. I'm going the wrong direction. Oh well. I have my own cavalry to deal with those. Um... Not the best plan, but levy spearmen are not that powerful. Although they can probably deal with these. What happened to the elephants? Okay, they're routing. Okay, Velites um, just smashed them. Because now these guys, you know, they have. Um, They've suffered some casualties, but at least they won't r run anymore. Okay, now these guys probably don't have enough to stop my cavalry. Unit losing decisively. Okay, okay, they're wavering, so... You know, they are being dealt with. Oh, my my infantry was actually far smarter than I thought they were. Or did I send them this way and was I much smarter than I thought I was? It's this way I can chase them back to the... Uh, to the center. And actually properly smash them. Yeah, so these guys are not trapped, basically. Well, they can still run in this direction or over here, but... Um, yeah, we got this battle. Well, actually, we, we got this battle after we have taken down the elephants. Really, the only, e the only thing that you know, could potentially beat us was the elephant. 
I don't know. I, well, I think I might have, if I, you know, controlled the uh, Numidian army, because I'm just going to call them Numidian, because these guys use the same units. I, I don't know if I could have won this, but... Um, because legionaries are really powerful. But I would have put up a better fight, at least. Probably. Because they did have a lot of ranged units. They did have the elephants. If you send in those elephants at the right moment... But still, they, they, they stay legionaries, and they are one of the toughest infantries in the game. Especially in larger groups. You know, the elite infantry is uh, generally better, but you don't encounter them in stacks of 10. It looks like we uh, killed most of them, except this one spear unit and this one uh, mercenary unit. Lost 442 guys. Well, um... Basically, everyone got experience except for my uh, my skirmishers and some of the cavalry unit that units that already had uh, two experience. But really, adding um, no, I don't have that. But adding a champion to your armies, it's it's so great. Currently, um, in my Octavian campaign, I ha Octavian's army has like two gold chevrons of experience, I think. And some of it is through battle, but um, not much. Ooh, what's this? Nurex Snail Farm, purple dye. Money. Let's build the villa. Let's not convert that thing yet. I, I would prefer to have just another building. Instead of repairing this uh, thing and getting a um, a slums thing, which only costs a lot of money. can't really do anything else. Tingis is a pretty large province. Or region. Oh, hold on. Okay, so let's, um, let's end the turn. Oh, I'm so poor. It really sucks. Oh yeah, I'm at war with Octavian as well. I really don't know what we would be the best strategy to use. Because Numidia is still a client state of Lapidus. So I have to take that down. Well, yeah, I... I guess I can take down Numidia first and then, you know, conquer Africa. 
I think I'll use the experienced army for that, which is, you know, Pompey's army. And then I'll, uh, once he captured Carthage, I'll ship him back to Sicily and then uh, have him start conquering Italy. And over here, I uh, will see what I can do in Spain with one army. I really hate invading a continent with one army, but uh, I really can't afford anything else. Did I already start building a... What are these? Some Maori rebels. I really need to deal with these guys as well, but I... I can't. That's a bit of a problem. I hope they will just That's attack me. That would be... Uh, that would be best. Oh man, I'm basically at war with half the world right now. Uh, what is this? Research technology in the following category, philosophy. Did I get something for it? I hope so. Probably not. Um, okay. Maintain 40 units in total. Well, that will happen pretty soon. Population surplus in Sicily. Ready for battle. Journey completed. Let's pull this army back, um, back there. Wait, that doesn't count as trespassing. Why doesn't that count as trespassing? It's weird. Uh, what's this? Cheaper mercenaries. I don't really need that right now. Although that building is really cool, but uh, I don't need it yet. Let's go for tactical drills to improve the melee attack and defense and charge bonus for all land units. Oh, for all units except for the charge bonus, that's for all land units. But Lepidus, why isn't this? Greetings in the name of the state. And hmm. I don't have a military access treaty. Oh, look at that. We're almost at uh, equal power now. Actually, let's see. Oh, yeah, yellow is me. I should probably get a small pile of cash first. Well, first invest in buildings, of course. And once I have that pile of cash, I can use it to uh, start recruiting that second army. But an army is expensive. What will that cost? Okay, so that's basically the entire cavalry section is about 500 gold. The valid days together are about.
about 200, a bit more. Uh, and these guys all together are another like 1500. So that, okay, so I can afford a second army, but it's, <laughs> it's going to leave me very poor. Okay. Um, but first I can still upgrade some, uh, some more buildings. So that's certainly going to help. A faction rises, Nabatea. Tiberius Popadius Nasso. What did he do? Your daughter is with child. She swears she has never known the touch of a man and believes that the child is a gift from Mars, the god of war. Well, let's keep the child. What does fame do? Gives me influence. I don't really want influence. If you're around 60, you know, a bit below 60, you're doing fine. Nothing will happen. But, uh... Right now, the chance of civil war is low. I believe. So, we'll see uh, once that happens. What is my uh, Imperium, actually? Aw, so it doesn't give me a nice text about how influential I am. Does it say somewhere else? No. You know, it used to have a, like a nice text, like uh, all other factions uh, fear you, blah, 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 blah. You have no equal, blah, blah, blah. You are just about powerful enough for other factions to take notice of you. You know, stuff like that. Didn't really mean anything. Wait. Did my... I don't know. Never mind. Promotion for Spurious Electius Linus. Child of Mars. It got me a general. Where did the uh, the raiders go? Are they dead? Well, let's uh, go to Serta with you two. You too. You. I guess there's no one else to go to Serta. Okay, let's expand this and get you a mine. I just need the money. It's really important now. How would you like your defeat commemorated? Huh. An arch or a nice column? Well, at least now I don't have to fight Numidia immediately, so that helps. Attilia Cornuda. One of your family, her family members has been apprehended outside the Senate. She attacked the senator who had spoken ill of her husband, stabbing him through the tongue of a hairpin. I've had this one before and I can't remember what I got. But um, yesterday I got him in my Octavian campaign. And Punisher was the... Well, actually, I lost influence. Like 50 senators. I don't know how many senators there are. Uh, 500. 
So 50 would be 10% loss, which would be pretty nice. So let's uh, let's punish her. So feminist groups get angry at me and I lose uh, support. That's basically what happens. What do I do now? That is the question. I've also got a population surplus in Numidia. I guess I'll wait for a bit with raising another army. Oh, he does have... Hmm. I might actually have to sacrifice um, these provinces for now. I don't know if I can cut this off. Like over here, I, I'm working on the assumption I can cut off access to Sicily this way but I have no clue if that's true so you know Octavian might just come in and take Sicily <laughs> it would really suck but uh, it could potentially happen but I think the uh, the best plan for now would be to just raise an army um, Well, I, I already have this guy. I actually already have a lot of uh, Pompey guys, which wouldn't cost me any support. I'll pick the guy with... I want to say the, um, the best name, but I should probably look at the skills. So this guy has two authorities, so it's not going to be him. This guy has five cunning. This guy has four authority, just like this one. Let's see, over here. Uh, this guy has the Praetorian Guard. Okay, so this is a pretty good candidate. Lucius Amatius Tuditanus. And this one is hideous, so that gives him minus one authority, minus three percent morale. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to use him. This guy has an aged retainer. He's a decent manager, but doesn't necessarily make a good general I think and this guy well they're also pretty good he's young I think this is the guy I got from the uh, last event but I'm not sure but I'll go with the uh, the five cunning guy he seems he seems to be the man we need right now uh other houses, other houses, Pompey Dynasty, Publius Naivius Lavinus, that wasn't him, was it this guy? No, it was him, Lucius Amatius Tuditanus, raise army. Legio Adiutrix, I have no idea what that means, okay, um... Okay, that will do for this turn, I guess. <laughs> well, at least it uh, it will keep the uh, this army out of this place, so I can just take all of Africa. Let's see if I can make a, a deal with Numidia. 
Do not try my patience. Uh, non aggression pact, no. Okay. Well, actually, a war with Numidia wouldn't be that bad as long as they march on um, Capsa because this place has six, six legionaries and one vet veteran legionary unit. It actually has a pretty good garrison. So I'm not worried about that place, especially if the Numidians attack it. With a lot of light infantry and uh, javelin men and stuff like that. They will get slaughtered before the wall, on top of the wall, whatever they are planning to do. They will die. Hmm. Hmm. So let's see what he has. Yeah, there's going to be no way I win this. I can put up a fight, but I, I really feel like it's not worth the time. Because this, this army here will replenish by the time I can take him on again. Because basically he has uh, three of these guys. One with upgraded equipment. I have one. He has, just like me, a veteran legionary general. But his has a silver... Uh, He's a rank 4, basically, Silver Chevron. So his veteran legionary unit is better than mine. And he has a um, Iberian Swordsman mercenary unit, which um, is much better than, than my two plebs units. And then we have the same amount, basically, of these levies. So just auto resolve it. Actually, it says it's a close defeat, so we might be able to... Uh, let's go for a balanced stance. Yeah, well... Sucks to be them. Ooh. I really need to raise that army in fast. Yep, minus 50 senators. Which got me at 66% influence. But it's too late to turn around this army now. Although I... Actually, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, this army here, I probably don't... Well, I, I might uh, need a big army to take Carthage. Just because of its garrison. But it's not necessarily a good army that I will face here in Africa. I might face something small. But really, here in the uh, west, that's where I need... A good fighting force, and that's what I have right here. Ready for orders. Uh, let's, let's get a pile more legionaries. I do like the uh, the change they made to Rome because at first Rome started with like a plus one experience to infantry or heavy infantry recruits, but now they uh, instead of that they get a uh, bonus to recruitment, so they get a bonus recruitment slot on land, which I think actually represents the Romans better because they actually won by you know having more. Arr! I hate this. Bonus objectives completed 0 out of 2. That's not true. I got Siga, but I, I lost it again. 
doesn't really matter. Completely control four provinces, either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. Well, I'm close to that. I already control three. So the next one is either Africa or... Um, what was this? Mauritania? Yeah. Let's get you guys out of... Uh, Forced march stance. For Let's get the army in there. So I'm going to fight back. That's uh, that's for sure. Let's see what my bonus objectives are. The swallowing of pride. Establish trade relations with the following faction: Antony's Rome. Mark Antony was one of the greatest enemies of Sextus Pompey's father. The breakdown of relations between Octavian and Antony, however, offered opportunity for Pompey to make an ally in this otherwise dangerously isolated war. Yeah, I doubt that's going to happen because I'm currently at war with him. But who knows, in my Octavian campaign, I, right now after destroying Lepidus, I'm big buddies with Antony, so... Who knows? Construct the following building. Temple of Neptune. Pompey's Sicilian stronghold was a base of some renown. Consistently defended by his navy, it resisted several attempts to capture the island. Such was Pompey's naval prowess, he adopted the epithet Son of Neptune. Making control of the waves appear to be a divine blessing. Yes, until uh, Agrippa got a navy together and smashed him. Really, if... If the Octavian's enemies would have been smart, they would have assassinated Marcus Agrippa. Because without Agrippa, Octavian was nothing. Let's see, I have two of these guys. So I guess that I need two more legionaries, two of these, and then... I need cavalry. No, why did he go all the way over there? Damn it. <sighs> I'll have to go after him. Okay, whatever, whichever place he's going to take now, next turn he's going to lose it. And also lose this army. Although he's also going to... You know, he lost a bunch of it to attrition, so that's uh, that's pretty nice. Um, what's this? Don't need that right now. Uh, well, let's do something in this branch. But anyway, that's uh, going to be it for today. So next time, I hope we can uh, retake at the very least Stiga. And hopefully also Tingis. I, I actually don't know where those two big armies went, so might have some uh, some big fights up here soon. But um, yeah, and we might also launch our offensive in Africa. But for now, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll speak to you guys next time.